Greetings family, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for tuning back in. This is Prophetess D and this channel is about God's word prayer and spirit-filled inspiration. And if you are here for the very first time, I want you to know that you are not here by mistake. God has divinely ordered your steps. People of God, today I will be dealing with four ways in which you can increase your faith. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, without faith, faith, it's impossible to please God. If you have no faith, it will be difficult for you to trust in an unseen God. Imagine a God that you cannot see. We believe that God exists by faith. We believe that God fights our battles by faith. And so we are able to then trust in him. For we know that our future is secure, fully so, in the hands of the Lord. And having faith in God will always help you to survive the most rough and darkest times of your life. That's why those who have experienced the miracles of God, when things were so rough in their life, when it looked all so dark and thick darkness, you know, when it all looked like there is no hope for a person that has not faith, but with them concerning their faith, which was sure and steadfast, they were then able to have testimonies and to surely say that God exists and to surely say that God is indeed powerful and people of the most high god if you are here and you would like to strengthen your faith then this video is just for you if you are here if you want your faith to go to the next level then this video is just for for you i'm going to give four ways in which you can increase your faith four ways in which you can you know strengthen your faith four ways in which you can activate your faith and i want you to know that in this time we've got to have faith we cannot just live anyhow the challenges that are surrounding us in our time need man and woman of faith and i just want to go into that right now Number one, you've got to read God's word. Reading God's word draws you closer to him. We also learn how past believers experience the power of God, experience the supernatural might and power of God. Those are the people of the past that were able to overcome challenges and certain difficult circumstances that were that they were faced with in their lives or those circumstances that they were presented with through God's word, we are able to really go through the word and learn from such characters. And number two, you need to have a prayerful life. You need to be prayerful. Prayer allows you to exercise your faith as you talk to God. You acknowledge that there is someone unseen with your natural eye or with your naked eye who is always there to listen. There is no, there, you know, he is not a man. It's a supernatural God. He is supreme. He is above and beyond. And when you engage prayer, you are able to then connect to this God. And number three, it is very much important to study in the Bible about those who lived lives of faith. So if you want to increase your faith, it's very much important that you go through God's word. You begin to go through biblical characters of people who lived lives of faith. You will realize that those people were not perfect. You will realize that those people were imperfect just like me and you. Yet the experience God in another dimension because they engaged faith. You will realize 
people like Apostle Paul, people like David, people like Abraham, people like Noah. And as you study the characters, there is something that you pick up from them that will help you to strengthen your faith and for your faith in God to go to the next level. And lastly, which I believe is very, very, very much important. It is very much important for you to be surrounded by people who are passionate by God, by people who don't complain and mama all the time, by people who are not always crying over situations, by people who are who you see through the word of God, those that know they are God, they shall rise up, they shall be great they shall do exploits and people of the most high god those people are there those people are people that are on fire for god you need to be surrounded by believers of strong faith you will know these believers by their actions how they respond to certain situations you will know them by the words they utter. My God, you will know them by the lifestyle that they live. These people are people that are action people. They are worded people. They declare the word of the Lord. If the, there is someone sick in their family, they declare healing upon them. By the stripes of Jesus, the person is healed. When there is a situation, they don't just stoop low. Their lifestyle is consistent in the Lord. They are people who live, who live and walk what they read in the word of God. These believers find strength in prayer. When things happen, they know where solution comes from. They are willing to sacrifice many other things for them to be able to serve God. These are people that don't just take God as a substitute, but God is there for every part of their lives. As they walk, they walk with God. As they move, they move with God. So people of the Most High God, today I came to share with you four ways to strengthen your faith because you need to live by faith. This time we are in, you cannot survive by your own. You cannot survive by your own understanding except faith. You need your faith to be strengthened. And number one, you've got to read the word of God. Number two, you've got to be prayerful. Number three, you've got to study biblical characters, people in the Bible who lived lives of faith, people who never gave up, people who trusted in the Lord despite circumstances. Number four, you need to identify people in your circle that are passionate about God, not complainers, not people who are tired about the things of God, not people who are discouraged about prayer and fasting, not people who are discouraged and seeing negativity anyway, not people who don't want to read the word of God anymore, but people who say, I know my God shall stand the last and I know my God will answer. So identify people that are on fire by God. Fire is transferable my God. And as you interact with such people, your life will be on fire. When something is on fire, even the enemy cannot sit on your destiny. The enemy cannot mess up with you anymore. He can be there for that moment, but the next second he is out because he will not be able to to stand the fire of God that is burning on the inside of you. Wow. Thank you everyone for connecting to this video. I believe that you are blessed. Go ahead and like this video. Drop your comment on the comment section down there below and I will respond to you. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure that you do subscribe. And if you believe this word is for someone, go ahead and share it with them and God will mightily bless you. Shalom to you all and I love you all wonderful people of the Most High God. Shalom and blessings.